Now this, though, this is a look. Uh, I hope I can, like, you know, totally crack up. So uh, I haven't, like, totally cracked up in a long time. <laughs> this is even worse. And I'm still doing the finger guns. What's up, everybody? I'm Jake Thomas. And, you know, I've been an actor for quite some time now, ever since I was about, uh... Buying carpet is a big investment, so my carpet expert brought me to David's carpet. And I am no stranger to other carpets as well, including the red carpet, which is why today we're gonna be looking at red carpet looks of Jake Thomas throughout the years. I can already assume that this is gonna be rough. I'm hoping that my style skills got better throughout the years and not worse, but I'm not optimistic. I think I'm looking forward to cracking up. Here we go. <laughs> this is basically like if you took like a, a middle-aged dad and then you just shrunk him, shrunk him down to my size there. Oh, I've got the soap shoes. These, these shoes were really cool. Soap shoes were like skateboarding shoes, but without the skateboarding, they, they had like these like plastic, hard plastic inserts like along the middle bottom where you could supposedly just like, like jump to a curb and just like grind the curb. I don't think I ever grinded on anything, but I like to think that I could at a moment's notice. Where are soap shoes today? I, I guarantee that there's somebody who's like doing some soap grinding today in this day and age. God bless him. Very large khaki shorts going past the knee. That's a requirement for dad, you know, khakis. You gotta, yeah, you can't see any kneecap. That's that's against the rules. T-shirt is tucked in with the brown belt exposed. Very dad move. The T-shirt is like this weird, like rubbery, shiny decal of like a Chinese dragon on fire. But hey, you know, at least it matches with the uh, the the, the button-up shirt that's open for a layer. Like this is some kind of like normcore look that would do really really well in this day and age if you did it like purposefully. It's gotta be, this has gotta be like a seven out of 10. Yeah, seven, eight, I'll give it an eight. I'll give it an eight out of 10, just on the fact that it looks very dad core, norm core, and it, it could work today. Oh, come on, no. Okay, there's gonna be a, a discrepancy between things here. Uh, the things where my parents or a stylist dressed me and then the instances where I dressed myself. Uh, this is a Disney event for Chevy and then Jonas Brothers. I think like the Jonas Brothers played at this whole thing and some really beat up Converse. Uh, but fortunately you can't see most of the beat up Converse because they're being covered by very baggy jeans that look like they have at least a good five inches torn from the, the back cuff. And then I don't, I found this like military style jacket at like an army surplus store. And I thought that it'd be really cool, but um, it's an XXXL. Oh man, why? The swoop haircut was all the rage. Um, uh, case in point, Jason Dolly. Where you at, bud? Um, this, is, this is pretty bad. I think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rate this a three. One point for each size of the XXXL. Okay, what's next? Okay, yeah, this is a more recent one. Pretty decent, I feel like. So this is this is from the premiere of my movie Baja, which uh, it's streaming on Amazon Prime right now. If you wanna stream it and just watch it. This suit I had custom made in Thailand. I, I was in Chiang Mai like, I don't know, six or seven years ago. The lining is all like shiny and silk and everything, love it. But if, okay, if we start from the bottom here, this is, this is where this look maybe starts to fall apart. For some reason, I'm wearing beat up boat shoes. I don't know if it exactly fits with the, the rest of the suit look, but uh, going up, we've got a, a brown belt. Doesn't match exactly with the, the shoes. Do we care about that still? I don't know. Wool and prints, wool, button up shirt. I love my wool. The, the suit, the suit sadly does not fit me anymore. Yeah, I, uh, I can't even button anymore just because I got really swole. I've been working out. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's a good problem to have. And then of course we have the bearded elephant in the room. For a while, I thought that this facial hair was working for me. Um, I, I basically was just gonna grow it out till somebody told me to stop. Nobody told me to stop. I, I ended up shaving the beard, obviously. Actually, I, I kept the mustache just as a joke, but um, 
it never stopped being funny. All right, all in all, it's a good look. I think the boat shoes deduct a little bit from it. So I'm, I'm gonna, and the beard, the beard, the beard definitely deducts just, just a little bit on style. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. I'm being very fair on myself here, I feel like. Seven out of 10, seven out of 10. It's a good look. Now this though, this is a look. Okay, okay, I, this is, oh man. The fit. Oh, I want this look today. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Let's start from the bottom on the way. Oh man, I've got the dark blue slides. The dark blue slides with the white tube socks. The baggy cargo pants. Oh, also in the matching blue. And as we go up, you know I love my Hawaiian shirts. Now we got a blue Hawaiian shirt with all the tones of everything matching in. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, okay. And then this is the topper. This is the topper. We got a blue, like kind of stringy, kind of like necklace thing going on there. Ooh, y'all, I would, I would rock this. I should rock this look today. And this, Maybe a familiar look if you want to crack up. I, I have to. I have to pull up the video. What are you looking forward to most about this film? Well, um, I think I'm looking forward to cracking up. Uh, I hope I can like you know totally crack up. So uh, I haven't like totally cracked up in a long time. So look, I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. Now I'm not. I'm not formally trained in acting or or in it being an interviewee, but, uh, but but my parents, my parents taught me everything I know. My dad has been on the radio as a DJ for like, I don't know. And my mom was a news anchor who interviewed people for a living. So I mean like, so they, they trained me on like how to do an interview. There's a few important things. Always embellish everything. You wanna be able to talk. Don't give short answers, give long winded answers. Give them something, you know, to work with. The other thing, always be busy. Always, always have something, even if you don't have any projects that you're working on right now, embellish it. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, I've got some, uh, I've got some good, I can't really talk about the projects right now, but I've got some things in the works, but uh, yeah, you know, it's good to be out here, good to see, that kind of thing. Like that's, that's what works as a red carpet interview. All that said, I have no idea what happened here. I think I just latched on to like a phrase and I just stuck with it. All in all, I mean, that look, uh, it's, that's a 10 out of 10. That's an easy 10 out of 10. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna top that look, honestly. That is pretty good. Okay, all right, it's a more recent one. It's, this, is a, this is a decent look, it's clean. I've got some nice sneakers. Uh, the hair's a little flat. I could have probably done something a little better. I'll give this an eight. I'll give it an eight out of 10, that's decent. Wait, what? What is that? It, it's... <laughs> It's a subscribe button. Reminding you to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's, 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 let's not talk about the face yet. This is the Kids' Choice Awards. Uh, Nickelodeon, I know, Disney people on Nickelodeon. It's weird. We actually won best show, a Disney show, at the Kids' Choice Awards on Nickelodeon. So it happened. I don't know if it's happened since. All right, so so starting from the bottom, we, we got some camo shorts. Very nice, very classy. The trend is continuing. The shirt, the t-shirt is tucked into the shorts. Belt exposed. The Hey, at least the shirt is matching with the Nickelodeon theme. You know, I went with the orange. The orange is working. I don't, and the face, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say there. Ah, oh, and the glasses. The, the the blue tinted. I think the only thing I can deduct points here is the blue tinted glasses. It seems like I was a little cocky. It seemed like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit like boastful. Overall, Kids Choice Awards look. I'm, you know, the the glasses not the greatest. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say six and a half. Six and a half, because it's it's not perfect. The shorts I don't like that much, but the, the color is there, the blue glasses kind of take away from it. And I, I deduct points for that that like that finger point thing. I don't I don't I don't like that. Six. Six out of ten. <laughs> I'm doing two finger points. Okay, alright, from the bottom up, I, I think I'm wearing swim trunks, cargo swim trunks to a premiere. Why not? This is something I'm, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna have to talk about here. I, I wanted to dye my hair. I wanted, I wanted to look like Justin Timberlake and have frosted tips and gosh darn it, I did. And, and I was like, I was having a midlife crisis at age 12 and I dyed my hair. And then, oh, there's a second photo. Okay, and we're doing more finger guns. That's perfect. Oh, oh, this is the premiere for Country Bears. That's, oh, that's a, that's a weird movie. Looking back on it. Four out of 10, four out of 10. It's not, it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe anymore. I would not frost the tips. No frosted tips. <laughs> this is even worse. And I'm still doing the finger guns. Uh, oh man, come on. All right, okay, from the, from the bottom up, I've got some weird looking clown shoes and then we're wearing swim trunks again <laughs> for some reason. Oh, this was the Finding Nemo premiere. Okay, so maybe I was gonna go swimming afterwards. I don't know. And then a, a red checkered shirt with, those sleeves go up to my wrists. I've got the mood ring. I don't know what mood that was, but right now it's disgust. And then I've got some weird looking and the, the hair has just fallen apart. This is the worst yet, I feel like. I remember seeing Steve Jobs at this premiere and thinking that that was the coolest thing. It's still pretty cool, honestly, seeing Steve Jobs at, at a, a premiere. Nothing about this is good. This is zero, that's a zero. That's a solid zero out of 10. And the, 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 this just made it worse. All right, what's next? Okay, this is classy. This is good. Some black corduroys, nice. Moving up, we got the black turtleneck. It's classy. The hair's looking good. And the simple thumbs up. Look, the simple, the thumbs up and like the, the thumb in the pocket. It's, it's, a, it's a good look. I look good. Oh, there's an interview for this one. That's my dad at the beginning, like being my hype man at the interview. Now, this is Jake Thomas, The Cell, Lizzie McGuire, AI. My dad, man, he was hyping me up. This is Lizzie McGuire. It's good. I, I just uh, finished today doing a, um, a rock climbing episode tonight. Okay, so this is the Harry Potter premiere. And like I said, I'm this is <laughs> right in the middle of filming Lizzie. The rock climbing episode, where was the, the cardio, cardio punch, that one. That was that day. Muscles are killing. Yeah, I got really swole because I've just been rock climbing all day. Yeah, it's a really tough job, you know? Have you ever read the Harry Potter books? That's right. I was super into reading Harry Potter around that time. I remember like being on set and reading the first one. That And hey, side note, I also remember during the filming of Lizzie, I went and auditioned for Harry Potter. Like to play Harry Potter. I, I remember going to Warner Brothers, I'm wearing fake glasses, and I read for casting doing like a fake British accent. Can you imagine? Hello, I'm Harry Potter. Uh, see, my accent wasn't that good back then either, so I don't, don't think I got the job. And then, this, is, this is an easy nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, it's classy, it's good. I can still wear this today, and I'm glad I wore it then. All right, what's next? This image, go away! It's Finding Nemo again! Zero! You get zero! Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Oh man, come on! Okay, yeah, I mean, there's bad, awkward teenage Jake that dressed himself. This is during Cory in the house. I'm like 16 or 17. <sighs> Start from the bottom. I'm wearing some weird diesel shoes, but fortunately you can't see them because again, my baggy jeans, and I'm probably dragging those across the whole red carpet. Moving up, okay. I've got a fedora. I had a fedora face, okay? It was bad. I admit it, but I've changed. A weird, like, velvet smoking jacket. And then, of course, yeah, because I think I'm so cool, I've got the popped, Unbuttoned dress shirt. It's just it's bad. The hair is greasy Zero. my if I could give a negative score. I would the fedora negative 1 million <phone rings> Moving on all right, what's next the Lizzie McGuire movie. Okay, cool. That's uh, uh well actually is that cool? I This was the premiere. Why am I just wearing normal clothes? 
Like this just this is just like a, a t-shirt with like a logo on it and then uh just a button down shirt that's open as why? That's not a premiere. This is this is your movie premiere. And you're wearing that? That's a four. That's a four. That's that's unacceptable. Alright, what else? Oh, okay, this is cute. I'm cute. Look at me. This this is like this is like the cell premiere. This is like 1999 or something like I it's it's a good look I get a good look here simple but I'm giving just the just the cute thumbs up I was I'm adorable look at look at those jigs look at that look at that nine out of ten adorable I need to do this no more of this more of this thank you for joining me on this journey through my red carpet looks I think I got worse throughout the years I just need to look backwards that's, that's the overall goal. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.